So hello everyone. So this is the question from Gate Electronics paper, and here we have to calculate the value of this output voltage VL. So for calculating this value, we require the current flowing through this one kilo resistor because VL is nothing but the drop voltage of this one kilo resistor. And this question is based on the current mirror circuit. So we have to apply the property of current mirror circuit of MOSFET to solve this question. So let's see here. These three are the PMOS as we can see, and these two and MOSFET, right? So in PMOS, this is the source terminal. Similarly, this is the gate terminal, and gate terminal, source terminal. Similarly, here for gate terminal, and this is the source terminal. So we can clearly see here that VSG one is equals to VSG two because the source and gate terminal of these MOSFETs are shorted. Similarly, here for in the gate or source terminal shorted. In fact. इन तीनों के ही गेट और सोर्स टर्मिनल शॉर्टेड है सो यहां से वी कैन सी दैट VGS VSG2 इज इक्वल्स टू VS D3 और सिमिलरली VSG1 इज इक्वल्स टू VS G3 सो इट मींस M1 एंड M2 आर फॉर्मिंग करंट मिरर सर्किट व्हेन एवर दिस कंडीशन इज फुलफिल्ड इट मींस दे आर इन द करंट मिरर सर्किट सिमिलरली M2 एंड M3 आर आल्सो इन द करंट मिरर सर्किट एंड Same goes with the M1 and M3. They are also forming the current mirror circuit. Now, take a look on this NMOS. So, here, this is the gate terminal. This is the source terminal. So, here also we can see that V here, VGS is so VGS4 is equal to VGS5. So, M4 and M5 are also in the current mirror circuit. Now, we should name it the example. M3, this is M4, and this is M5. So these are forming the current mirror circuit like this. So now the property of current mirror circuit. Now, when the MOSFETs are in the current mirror, so their drain current are equal if the size of the MOSFETs are equal. Means this aspect ratio W upon L. If these two uh, if the if the aspect ratio of first is equal to the aspect ratio of second, then only the drain current are equal. Now, how this current mirror property is derived? So we can see here ID one, which basically is MOSFET current over because if it is P MOS, so this expression is like this: V P C O X W upon L one upon M R two. This is the V S G one minus of V P P mod whole square. This is the Current expression and similarly, यहाँ पर ID2 will be like mu P C O X W by L of two and V S G two minus of V T P mod whole square. Now V S G one is equals to V S G two. So if the aspect ratio first MOSFET is equals to the aspect ratio of second MOSFET, then only ID one is equals to ID two. But यहाँ पर clearly We can see here that the aspect ratio is not equal. So, this kind of current mirror property derives from here. That is, ID one upon ID two. We can clearly see here the ratio. The ratio will be simply dependent on their aspect ratio because these sub parameters to cancel out. So, it will be simply equal to W by L of one upon W by L of two. This is the current mirror property, and this same current mirror property. Will be applied on these MOSFETs also, right? On their respective current values. Ke liye. So this is the current mirror circuit property of MOSFET. So is the according we can proceed. So this is the ID one current because this is flowing in the MOSFET one. Now we have to find out this current first ID two. So for ID two, it will be simply W by L. Two upon W by one into I D one, right? And I D one is one millimeter given, and this is ten. This is the ten, and this is one. So this is ten upon one, and one millimeter. So we can clearly see that I D two is nothing but equals to ten millimeter. This is the current flowing in the MOSFET two, right? So here, but basically ten millimeter flow. Now. अब M2 और M3 हम तो करंट और फॉर्मिंग तो करंट मेरे सर्किट सिमिलरली M1 और M3 की करंट मेरे सर्किट है सो वी कैन फाइंड दिस वैल्यू ID3 
in the two form if we want to apply the id3 if we want to apply the current mirror circuit property of m1 and m3 so we can go with this also so it will be now id it will be like this id1 upon id3 will be equals to w by l 1 upon w by l 3 and yaha se so id3 hai this is equals to w by l of Third three and upon W by L upon into ID one that is one millimeter and G basically seven here this is one so this is the seven millimeter this is the first form and similarly if we want to apply the current circuit of M two and M three so this is also we can find out ID three so ID three will be simply equals to W by L of three now the aspect ratio of second MOSFET and the current of second MOSFET ID2 which is 10 milliampere or this is 7 upon 10 so here is basically 7 upon 10 and into 10 so ID3 is equals to 7 milliampere this is we can so ID3 is 7 milliampere right so here say 7 milliampere flow right now up in the MOSFETs may we have to apply the proper up yahan par dekhiye 10 millimeter hai to mosfet mein gate terminal mein kabhi bhi current flow nahi hota so yahan se basically 10 millimeter flow hua so this is nothing but the id4 so id4 to 10 millimeter hai now we have to apply the current mirror property of n and these n mos so for id5 we will apply the current mirror property of m4 and m5 so ID5 will be equals to W by L of 5 upon W by L of 4 into ID4. This is 10 number and this is 5 upon 10 that is 0.5. So 0.5 and you have already 10 is equals to 5 milliampere. So basically, how much your current flow? Right? This is the So this is the 5 milliampere. Here there is your current flow, right? this one. Here this is the 5 milliampere. So here there is 7 milliampere, here there is 5 milliampere. So we will clear cut that this is the 2 milliampere. And this according to VL here, this is 2 volt. This is the 2 volt. So answer is 2 volt. So this is how we can solve this problem. So okay. Thank you.